you know, we've pressed you on the wide receiver core in recent weeks. That's been a, uh, a source of contention since the Texas game. And even going back to last year's national championship game, we saw Isaiah bond get loose downfield, haul in a pass that he laid out for, you know, what, what's your assessment of this group as they continue to progress. And of course they faced one of the best teams in the sec this past weekend. They got to find a number one guy, Mark. And that's the concern where the fans are, are looking at it. Alabama does not have a number one receiver that Bryce young feels comfortable with that Young feels confident in, he can say, I can get the ball to this guy, and I know this guy's going to make a play every single time. He doesn't have that yet. There were moments against Arkansas, Mark, Bryce Young was visibly frustrated because there were several drop balls. Remember, they were drop passes from Ja'Cory Brooks, drop passes from Trayshawn Holden, uh, Jermaine Burton had a drop, Cameron Lye, too, though they're not targeting him at tight end like they need to be. Uh, he had a drop in the game, just several drops. And Bryce is visibly like, I mean, guys, come on. I'm putting the ball right there. You, you got to help me out here. And that's where you saw the likes of Kobe Prentice, the freshman, caught three passes for 92 yards, showing that, you know, he's wanting to step up. Isaiah Bond got behind the defense for a 53-yard bomb, had two catches for 76 yards. Another freshman trying to show Bryce Young, you can depend on me. So Alabama, they've been spoiled with, you know, number one primary guys, whether it was Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, Calvin Ridley, Jerry Judy, you can go down the list to recently, Jamison Williams. They've been spoiled with guys that, hey, I'm the number one. You put the ball anywhere on me. You can trust me. I got you. I'm going to make a play. Uh, they do not have that right now. And though it's a good thing for def it's a good thing for Alabama because opposing teams cannot scheme out, you know, which one's going to be the guy. So that's a good thing because anybody can go off at any moment, but it's a bad thing because Bryce doesn't know who is the guy that I can, who's the whale that I can go to. So in this SEC gauntlet, they're going to have to grow up quick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, folks, you can talk college football with us 24, uh, 7, 365. There you see it on the banner right there. Go to Patreon, search Mark Rogers TV, get on the discord. I send you the link and you're all set to talk. Uh, college football with uh, over 100 people each and every day, all the time, constantly. And get to Stephen's show, In My Own Words. It's right there on the banner. In My Own Words, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 Central, right here on YouTube. 